This is the Digital Music Trends coverage of Medium 2014, an interview with Marta and Cho from the company Songflow. DMT's coverage is brought to you by CI, the leading provider of digital delivery services to the independent community on ci-info.com. Hi Marta, and how's it going today? Very good, thank you. Excellent, it's good to have you here and uh, uh, I'm trying to keep the stam- stamina up because it's the last few hours of medium and I think we're all close to collapse. So. <laughs> I think that's a very positive attitude and uh, yeah. you're doing a great job. <laughs> but I'm really tired after a couple of big nights. Yeah, absolutely. But, um, yeah. yeah, mine finished at five this morning so it was, it, it was a long night. <laughs> and so let's talk about Songflow. What, what, what do you do? So with Songflow we um, have created a platform where artists can go online, create an account and uh, get like a bunch of services that help them to uh, create a, a career out of music. So there is distribution, there is promotion, there is revenue collection uh, and we will keep adding functionalities to the platform so at one point uh, an artist can basically uh, choose like you know what you do in a Chinese restaurant I want number 14 I want number 18 but here I want digital distribution I want merchandise and they pay for it and we'll make sure that everything is taken care and then on the other side uh, we are not against record labels uh, with at Songflow we believe that um, record labels actually uh, are very much or record labels or artist managers or business people are very much needed in the development of an artist's career uh, and for them we uh, use Songflow like it's like a big filter yeah. it filters out the people that the artists that are actually having traction and we try to match them to the right uh, people on the business side great that's awesome. And so h- how did the company start out and wh- where are you based? So we are based out of uh, Amsterdam uh, and um, we are part of a group called Independent IP. Um, it's the IIP group and we have properties like Fuga, Fuga Aggregation Services, Songflow and more and more will be added to the roster of uh, online properties where we help music to flow from the point of creation to the point of consumption and make sure that everybody makes their money. Sure. And uh, so at the moment, uh, where is your core customer base uh, and, uh, and uh, how have you started, uh, how do you adopt new, new users? Yeah, so it's really interesting that um, with Fuga we operate on a global scale, so we are active on all continents, uh, not so much in Africa because we uh, find it hard to uh, get a business going in Africa, but for the rest we are presented all over the world. Uh, and with Songflow, uh, there's artists from uh, more than 30 countries using it now. Right. So it's, uh, it's pretty uh, global, everything that we do. That's awesome. And so, uh, where do you see the areas of most growth, uh, most growth, and and also the areas where the artists are most interested in as well? Yeah. So, uh, w- of course, um, you know, because it's a startup, um, we we grow uh, the fastest in the regions where there's the most people. So it's the U.S., it's the U.K., it's Germany, it's France, uh, it's those uh, territories. And what we really uh, see, and this was a big surprise to me, is that uh, first. My idea was when we put this out, we will get like the, the people at the bottom of the food chain, you know, the, the small artists that are not good enough to get a record deal. But to my surprise, uh, we actually have it totally the other way around. It's the uh, very conscious, uh, self-aware, uh, independent artist that says like, okay, I would really like to do a, a deal with a good record label. That's a good deal for me. But as long as there's no good deal, I can do this by myself. I can spend a couple of hundred euros or a couple of thousand to to get my career started and uh, there I can prove myself and once I've done that I will get a better deal later down the line and so uh, the amount of talent that's actually uh, registered to Songflow uh, makes me very happy because this is top-notch talent from all of the territories that we are in. That's fantastic and uh, and when you look at the revenues uh, uh, of the artists that are on the service uh, how uh, well not just revenues but also usage of <coughs> music uh, so uh, how are streaming services comparing to downloads uh, do you see uh, still a growth in downloads or are they flattening out like in the rest oh, of the industry it's really uh, flattening out yeah. I mean uh, if you look at streaming services uh, that's uh, right now a neck and neck race with Spotify and Deezer and now Beats comes into the game yeah. and what you see is everything else stabilizes so uh, I think that iTunes will announce uh, soon that they will turn their service into a streaming service as well uh, because this is really the way to go. I mean, uh, as a user, uh, you know how it is. I mean, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that streaming is the future. Um, <clears throat> so that's what we see as well. Yeah. And do you find that 
uh, you know, there's there's a lot of discussions uh, today around uh, YouTube, and uh, uh, I know that uh, I was at a panel. I moderated a panel where Google uh, got some got a bit of an earful from artists in 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 terms of uh, revenues and, and everything else. So, how how do you, you, your artists consider uh, YouTube? Uh, do they consider it as a way to make to make money or a way to just distribute their music? No, yeah, it's uh, always a combination, and I think that uh, the nice thing about Songflow is is that artists just pay. Uh, Songflow to to perform a certain task. Yeah. Distribute my music to YouTube, iTunes, and Spotify, and we say, okay, we charge you five euros per song per year, and you get 100% of your royalties. Awesome. So that's a whole different ball game. And if you if you then uh, you know, for example, YouTube or Spotify or whatever uh, artists that are complaining that they are not making money, uh, you know, don't blame the technology companies. Look at the contract chain from the moment it uh, is being put on to YouTube and uh, what happens in between when it ends up with you. You know, there's a big chance uh, the problem lies somewhere else. And uh, you deal with a lot of independent artists. So do you also deal with the uh, uh, publishing rights or just master rights? Uh, right now, it's uh, just the, the the master rights, but we will uh, soon uh, launch a publishing uh, management platform as well. And uh, what I can say about the separation between publishing rights and master rights, I think the future uh, is a future where these two rights are being brought together again instead of what has happened uh, in the past where they needed to be separated. Yeah. It's very inconvenient uh, for a, a, yeah, a, a technology company to have to deal with all of these different entities that represent different aspects of a ride and streaming you have to talk to this one download you have to talk to that one use it here you have to talk to that one i mean the industry it's like a, a big bowl of spaghetti that got so entangled and yeah. technology will now sort it all out and then we'll get back to our senses and artists will get paid business people will get paid and people that provide a technology that creates an experience will get paid i mean there's enough growth in the industry check out the interview or the keynote speech of mark geiger uh yeah. during during Meet Him uh, was one of the most compelling stories that I've heard so far. Actually fun to listen to, fun to, to see how somebody with deep knowledge of the industry uh, provides you a sketch of the future and it looks prosperous. But a couple of things need to happen in order for that prosperity to, to flourish again. That's fantastic. Well, that, that's actually a, a very good way to end on a positive note in one of the last interviews at Medium. And uh, Martin, it was a real pleasure talking to you. All right. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me. And, and, uh, uh, and of course, uh, the website is songflow.com, uh, yes. right? So there's a bunch of websites, but songflow.com, that's where you need to go if you're an independent artist. And if you're an independent record label, you need to go to fuga.com. Perfect. So the Fuga Group. Perfect. Thanks Thank so you so much. much. And thanks for listening to the DMT coverage of Medium in 2014. You can find out more on digitalmusictrends.com or youtube.com slash digitalmusictrends.